Hi guys, good morning and welcome to another brand new episode of the Poseidon God of Water 20 show. Not only is this the 58th episode of the series over um, of the season, but it's also the 565th episode of the series overall. That's the entire lot. Of course you know that from the title screen, don't you? That's right, you do. So, let's get on with the show. Now guys, a story for you, and you may find some more entertaining. But, I heard a, a story of a miracle child, a young girl, named Emily Jackson. Now, what you may not know about her is that she was on her way home from college, was it 16 years old, yeah. She was on her way home from college one Thursday afternoon when she when she came across a very rare and unheard of breed of squirrel. She came across a white squirrel. And she thought to herself, a white squirrel? Never heard of one of them before. She picked it up to go in for a closer look. And no sooner had it touched the ground again than it transformed into an old man. And she thought, what? And then she learned afterwards that it was her own grandfather who had been turned into a squirrel as a punishment for his greed. Of course, this isn't true. I'm making it up. That is the point of a made-up funny story. Okay, guys. I'll see you back here after this animation. I hope Rose is alright up there. She's been a while. I'm fine, Mum. Were you worried about me? I was, a bit. Mum, you don't need to worry about me. Rose, I'm your mother, and I worry about you because I love you too much not to. You're very special to me, as you're my daughter. I fully understand that, Mum, but I'm fine. Perfectly safe. Okay, sweetheart, don't get agitated. Sorry, Mum. I don't mean it. I fucking love you so fucking much, Rose Amber Barrett. What did you just say? I only said I fucking love you so fucking much, I thought I heard foul language out of your mouth. How dare you think it's appropriate to use that naughty word and expect to get away with it. You, naughty, girl. What are you saying? You, are, grounded, for, a week. Get to your room, right now. You, have, been, very, naughty, today. Olivia. I'm here to pick up Rose. I'm sorry Lily but Rose is grounded. This is disappointing news Olivia. Why is she grounded? Because she's been a naughty girl, using foul language in conversation with me. Then she deserves to be grounded if she's going to be naughty to that extent. I'm disappointed, but nothing can be done. Oh Lily, come here. Okay guys, that was Rose Guest Grounded. Also known as... I believe it's uh, never mind that's not important then I think it's on episode 137 of the brand new Barra family so now guys I think it's time for yeah your appointment's not yet so can you just go away over there please yep yes okay sir yes I'll call you Jason will be here soon and um, I don't know what he's going to do for you. Maybe he's just going to convey a message or maybe he's going to act something out. Only time will tell. And so guys, I leave you in his more than capable hands.
Okay, so far, everybody, settle down. It's time to begin today's lesson. I said, settle down, settle down. I'm your substitute teacher for today. My name is Mr. Barney. And I will not tolerate any ruckus behavior. So you better settle down, settle down. You did not just hear me, did you? No ruckus behavior. Why do I sound like a broken record when I say, Settle down, settle down. Thank you. Now, let's start the game with some maths, eh? Now, can anybody tell me what 10 times 9 is? Anybody? 10 times 9? No one. How disappointing. Moving on. Can anybody tell me what 8 times 1,000 is? Anyone? 8 times 1,000? 8 times 1,000. Anybody? No one. How disappointing. Detention for all. You're not even trying. Baggots. Bitches. You're all in dead tension. James, it's back to you. Thanks, Jason, and we'll see you next time. Okay, guys. That was your Jason sketch for today. I hope you enjoyed it. And it's nearly time to say goodbye for this episode, but not before this animation. Take a look. It's good I decided never to be naughty because it's bad to do that, Lily. I really wish you wouldn't think about being naughty, baby. Why not? Because thinking about it can even make the well-behaved, be naughty if they have it on their minds all the time. Can it? Yes, it can. And we are used to praising you for good behavior. We'd hate having to start punishing you for bad. Please don't turn naughty, please, that'll never happen, you've no need to worry. Then, please remove the thoughts of naughtiness from your mind. Or I'll have to send you to your room for being a naughty girl. Okay, all thoughts gone. That's my good little girl. Lily, were you having naughty thoughts again? Olivia please. I've just talked those thoughts out of her. Don't you dare talk them back into her. I was only asking her a question. And I shall answer it. Honestly. Yes I was, but they're gone now and I don't want them to come back. I don't need to even think about them. That was a very honest and sensible answer. Well done. As for you, Olivia Laura Barrett. You're 19 years old now. Act it, or I'll treat you like a child. I'd rather you didn't. I'm about to have a child of my own, and I don't want her to have the opportunity to poke fun at me. Well don't act like a child then. Lily, I don't want you talking to your sister like that. You're just a child, not a grown-up. You naughty thing. Was I just naughty? Yes you were. Please don't do it again. I'm sorry about that. You're forgiven, baby. I'll say this. Wouldn't you expect bad behavior from me sometimes? Normally yes, as it's part of being a child. Are you still facing criticism for not being normal because you want to be good? I am. All the time. And that's why you think the only way to stop it is to start being naughty sometimes? Yes, mum. I'm so sorry. Well, you were already being naughty as it was. Please don't carry on, or bed. As this is her first time for being deliberately naughty, you could let her off with a warning. That is what I was doing. Were you asleep when mum was warning me, or did you not listen closely? Lillian Rose Barrett II.
How dare you think it was appropriate to take that kind of attitude with me? That's very naughty. Lillian Rose Barrett II. Are you still being naughty after I warned you? Nope. I knew it. You do not ignore the warning I gave you and then lie to me about it. That's very naughty, and I am very cross with you today. I'm not being naughty. You are being very naughty today, and I will not have it. I am taking you upstairs and you are going to bed. Naughty girl. Mum, are you in? I'm right here, Shelby. I was putting Lily to bed. Why? Is she ill? No, she was being naughty and that's her punishment. So, what Olivia told me is true. Our little sister has been a naughty girl. How dare she? Calm down Shelby. This was her first time for being deliberately naughty, and she just took it too far. Don't you think she deserves a second chance? It was her first time after all. Here I am. And you get a second chance. I appealed to mum for your freedom, but one question remains. Why have you started being naughty all of a sudden? It's the only way to cancel out my identity as the strange girl for being good all the time. That's no excuse, you naughty girl. You need to drop the attitude. Actually, I think it's a valid reason. What mum says goes. That was a bit of a naughty attitude, but let's... And that's it for the episode, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. I'll see you again next time. Bye for now.